All right, one more example of a Young's double slit problem. An unknown laser is incident on a pair of slits with an unknown separation. This creates an interference pattern on a screen that's 2.2 meters away. L equals 2.2 meters away. The interference pattern has four bright spots over 2.5 centimeters. So delta Y equals 2.5 centimeters. Careful here, if I have four bright spots, that actually means three delta y's. So this is divided by three to get an individual delta y. That three is repeating. With the same setup, a red laser, 600 nanometers, creates an interference pattern with four bright spots over three centimeters. So with L equals 2.2 meters, this is my red, this is my unknown. And here I'm going to get delta Y equals three centimeters, so three centimeters, three bright spots. There are three separations, four bright spots. So that's one centimeter or 0 0.01 meters. And it says it's a red laser with a wavelength of 600 nanometers. Determine the wavelength of the unknown laser. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, there's a couple different ways to approach this. I'll do the longer but pretty easy way first. I'm going to use all of this to find D. And since it says that the setup is the same, that'll give me D over here, and then I can solve. Uh, and then I'll show you a different way to do it in a second. So delta Y equals lambda L over D. So 0 0.01. Uh, actually, I'm going to solve this for D first. So multiplying both sides by D, I get D to the top over here, and that's going to be lambda L over delta Y. So I'll just substitute here. 600 times 10 to the negative 9, times my L, 2.2, divided by my delta Y, which was 0 0.01, my D in this case works it to be, one point three two times 10 to the negative 4 meters. So with that in hand, I can come over here. Again, delta Y is equal to lambda L over D. So solving for lambda. And I get about 500 nanometers. I got 499.8, so I'll go 500 nanometers. So there we used a known laser to find the color of an unknown laser by finding the D. So that's probably the most straightforward way to do it, but we could have actually done it in a different way right back when we were all the way up here. So let's just look at an easier way to do this problem, starting from our given information, which we had right here. For our purposes in doing it this way, we're not going to bother with this L. And we're just going to look at the relationship between delta Y and the wavelength. It said that we keep everything about the setup the same. So delta Y is directly proportional to lambda, according to our equation. Delta Y equals lambda L over D, so they're directly proportional to each other. So if I want to figure this out, I can just set up a ratio. So I can say lambda unknown over lambda red is equal to delta Y of the unknown over delta Y of the red, using the proportionality. 
just gonna clear a little more space for myself. So with that in hand, lambda of the unknown divided by 600 nanometers is equal to um, 0 0.833, actually 0 0.00833, although I guess I could just leave them both in centimeters, whatever, divided by 0 0.01, and so that, that, and then I multiply the 600, and I get my lambda unknown to be 500 nanometers. So because everything else, the setup is the same, I can focus on just the variables that changed, look at their relationship and use a ratio to predict them, or you can go ahead and find D and bring D over and solve it that way. Either way is acceptable. So that's how, um, that's how some problems or some examples associated with the Young's double slit experiment. And that shows how you can find the wavelength of an unknown color as long as you have a known color.